Do you know what the most abundant thing on our planet is? It's not sadness or water or even air. It is the amount of idiots on the road that seem to have bought their licenses off of eBay. Hello everyone, and yes, you guessed it, we'll be looking at some of the worst drivers on the road that like digging their own graves. Sit back, relax, and grab your snacks as we jump right into the video. These guys have just bought a new Ferrari and are checking out how the beauty handles. It handles pretty well, but the driver needs to take some classes first. Watch them blame other things now. An aggressive lane change leaves this truck driver smashing right into a poor driver who's shoved on the other side of the road through the metal dividers. Thankfully, they were not fixed. Everyone can become a good driver in an empty parking lot when you have nothing to hit. This guy was too full of himself, however, and still managed to show that he's not a good driver even in an empty lot. The driver in the front is about to make a turn without any blinkers or anything and only starts turning when the car reached right behind them. Whenever you see a school bus on the side of the road, just make sure that you only move when the bus does and don't end up like this driver getting chased by cops afterwards. Here's why pickup trucks might actually be more dangerous. The Civic clipped the truck as it dramatically rolls over with a little hop. This driver thought he could make a nice donut on the road with his lofty truck but ends up hitting the all only inches away from the cameraman. The cameraman always survives. They really need to redesign these intersections and signals because everyone seems to think they have the right to go anytime they want. Who do you think was wrong for this? You know you want to claim your insurance real bad when a car cuts you off but you take 10 business days to react and still manage to crash the car. Something's fishy here, don't you think? With foggy weather like this, people still tend to speed like maniacs on the highways, and these cars end up in a pile when they fail to stop on time. I guess a Corolla has better brakes than a BMW, as it shows here. A driver was about to pull out on the road but stopped. That curveball of sorts made the truck driver panic, and they gently glided into a crash because of the slippery road, narrowly missing another person. Highway workers already have a lot of lights flashing on their trucks, and one automobile driver came dangerously close to causing a collision when the workers abruptly switched lanes without giving any prior warning. Leaving a car meet in this manner is quite inappropriate. Excessive excitement caused this motorist to spin out of control, and he was only able to come to a halt after he had collided with another driver, who was not at fault. The security and protocol around VIPs are supposed to keep them safe, but sometimes they end up becoming a hazard themselves as these two drivers have shown us after crashing into each other. I think this is the main reason why Americans should now start making their houses out of concrete and bricks, because you never know who could leave a hole in your house at any moment like this guy. The fact that everyone was so preoccupied with checking the time on the watch that was displayed on the advertisement board caused them to forget to check the junction before crossing, which resulted in a three-car collision. Do you not find it quite frustrating when you're going about your daily life and driving down the road and all of a sudden your controller disconnects and your vehicle begins to fly out of control? Exactly! That's never occurred to me, neither. People are just thirsty to claim their insurance all the time. One guy pulls out on the road at the wrong time, while the other one doesn't even get to think of braking. I believe both of them are to blame for this one. There are situations when you don't even require a second vehicle to deal with your collision. Despite the fact that he appears to have crashed due to air, this individual demonstrates that it is impossible to drive without a brain. In the process of overtaking their respective lane hongers at the same time, two drivers made the decision to collide with each other, which ultimately led to both of them being involved in an accident. The back car on the right decided to change lanes and accidentally caused another driver to break and lose control, swerving right into the same black car and crashing. A Mercedes driver manages to dodge a runaway van driver at the intersection, but that caused him to lose grip and slid right into this side of the road. Just like we have Mustang and Jeep drivers in America, Russia has Ladas, and these little pocket tanks are always causing havoc. A truck driver always needs to be extra careful while turning and stuff because they're slow and can't zoom past anything, and this driver had excellent reflexes when he was cut off by a trucker. The white car on the right goes up the ramp and comes right back down in a jiffy as the driver decides he didn't want to take the exit as of yet. Even waiting at the signal of an intersection isn't safe as there are drivers like these that keep you on the edge of your seats thinking that somebody's gonna hit you. This driver was about to take a turn from the buffer lane when all of a sudden, a careless driver turns right into them causing a head-on collision. I would blame the road designers, not the drivers. Even with a green light, the Jeep driver makes a sudden stop, causing them to be rear-ended by this poor guy. Hopefully that tire at the back might have helped with the damage control. 
Speeding in the rain is not a good option, especially when you're driving a truck that takes years to come to a stop. Debris flies everywhere as the two trucks collide. People really don't care about looking both ways while crossing the road in their cars, and this is a prime example of just that. This Porsche driver made a sudden U-turn and almost crashed into another car while pulling off this stunt. Looks like they forgot something at home to have made that move. Always keep your eye on the road because you never know when the car in front could slam on their brakes. This guy was paying attention at the front or the sides and changed lanes at the worst time. The poor driver here tried to overtake the truck when all of a sudden the car in front of him slowed down, causing them to get rear-ended by a massive truck. Sometimes you really start getting curious about what's going through people's brains because accidents like these are either intentional or you have to be really stupid to do. Fast lane hoggers are the worst and the driver of this small green car is about to let one of them know that they can't drive like a grandma. Either. A driver hauling something behind his car caught something amazing. As soon as they make the turn, the driver dodges a bullet that hits the previous driver and that is what you call luck. Looks like we have a singer up next. This driver's having a good time as it seems until they come across an intersection when they're almost T-boned by another driver who was also probably singing. You have to be a special type of drunk in order to have yourself stuck like this. Looks like they're in a hurry before the cops come and the driver's definitely lacking in the skills department. This girl was learning how to drive and I guess her dad forgot how to teach her where the brakes are before letting her drive the car on public roads. This has to be the most confused driver out there. He bumps into the car not once or twice, but thrice at the same time. The police need to find this man and get his license back. Imagine coming home from a tiring day at work just to see a car flying into the air and dropping down in front of you. People really are playing GTA, it seems. Here is why lane discipline is very important, because the smallest of touches can result in the biggest of accidents, and this poor driver crashed twice. There are some good people out there too, as we can see this Corvette driver ruin his beautiful car just to help the cops catch this suspect who's probably panicking in that moment. This biker was merging onto the highway when all of a sudden the car came flying in, trying to cut everyone off and crashed right into another car. The biker manages to dodge the debris and stop just in time. Cars can be very unpredictable too sometimes. This charger gets knocked over its roof by a bump that looks almost too small to make that possible. This Ferrari driver began burning some rubber, but little did they know it was the wrong crowd to be showing off for, and the cops immediately pull them over. Trucks are wide and long for the most part, and they need a ton of skill to drive around hauling even bigger loads, and these guys seem to know that bumps like this one are acceptable. In an odd twist of events, these cops ended up chasing down a car that seemed to be going a bit slower than usual, and when they performed the pit maneuver, it turned out to be another cop. If my truck tried rolling over like that, I would slow down or either stop for a moment, but this guy kept going until the truck actually flipped on its side and dragged itself along the road. Today was not the day for white truck owners, as one of them loses control on the highway and crashes. As the one on the left slows down, he gets rear-ended by a third white truck. The driver of this lifted truck was so high off the ground that he couldn't even see the curb until they hit it and destroyed the whole wheels. Maybe next time buy wheels that are smaller than the car? This man made a U-turn and starts losing control of their car, yet he doesn't let go of the throttle or hit the brakes until the very last second. Someone needs to get their license checked. Here on the Autobahn, you need to stay clear of the fast lane if you're going slow, and this driver almost had his car wrecked when another driver carelessly rolls into their lane. These guys left their car in neutral and it rolled over the small incline and onto the driveway. What's even funnier is the guy talking mentions a parking gear in neutral in a manual. This cop just ended a takeover on this intersection, yet two dummies remain, and they showed the officer what kind of IQ you need to have in order to be a part of these things. During a traffic jam, this cop was in line when an impatient driver suddenly came flying past everyone. That is when the officer jumped into action and stopped the menace. Looks like this guy was aiming to hit the van. Even though the van driver did run the red light, this guy had clean vision of the van coming his way and still kept speeding. The driver of this yellow car is smoking and throws the remaining cigarette out of the window, and that's exactly when Lady Karma sends a warning towards him in the shape of an accident. Even when you think you have a green light, people who are self-entitled or colorblind will always run their red lights and crash into you. They should introduce spikes that come up when the light turns red. For some odd reason, the driver decided to make a turn and moves right into the lane of this car. 
The weird thing is that there wasn't even a road they were turning into. Talking of weird, here's another driver that thinks curbing their car is a good practice until they flip over on their roof and drag along the road. Drunk driving or just a fool? Comment down below. Some people blame cars and some people blame companies, but in reality it's always the person driving the car. And this Nismo 360Z driver just wrecked a gem of a car. Looks like someone was too busy looking at their phone and rear-ended this vehicle. Weirdly enough, she started reacting before she crashed into the car. If only she could have pressed the brakes instead of screaming. A Tesla driver going round and round ended up crashing into a fire hydrant and completely destroyed it. Weirdly enough, here's where the Tesla proves its build quality and has almost no damage. This CLS driver has run into a little skill issue where he's not able to take the car on the ramp and almost hits the other car which is already parked. He finally uses the right formula and gets the car in the showroom. This woman is driving down the road and when she's cut off by a car, she takes on the don't break challenge and starts going everywhere on the road before crashing into multiple other cars. Here's a funny instance where this car almost ran into a red light runner. The runner tries to avoid the accident and smashes their car right into the pillar themselves. That's some Tom and Jerry type of scenario. The new Tesla Cybertruck is an amazing car, but only for parking in a garage. Otherwise, this thing's not meant to do anything at all. Looks like this Jeep driver was risking it for the biscuit because they probably knew that their wheel and tire were broken. They were just waiting for this exact moment. Here's another driver that had the reflexes but not the decision-making capabilities and managed to crash regardless of them trying to save it. These takeovers are just pointless because they always end up with an accident, and this truck driver sought revenge when the other car rammed into him during their clown performance. While racing in the Nürburgring, the drivers are told to please look out for other drivers and give them space if you're too slow for them. But this Clio driver had other plans in mind and the ending just sums it all up. Here's why I believe these intersections should be reworked, because everyone seems to have a green light, and especially this guy who just flies past, threading the needle and avoiding drivers only just. Highways will always have a pileup during rush hours because people just expect the traffic to keep going and don't think about braking at all. This Jeep driver was flying down the road when suddenly a car cuts them off and causes a huge accident. The other car flies into the truck as well and almost gets driven over by it. Here's another video where some fools were trying to race on a busy road and made really bad calculations about when to cut through traffic. Both of them had their own accidents too. The roads are only good for the people that are always vigilant because you never know when anyone could start turning all of a sudden. A car joining the road after some off-roading suddenly loses control and clips the van in front, causing it to flip over and the driver themselves to spin out of control too. Remember when I said how anyone could be turning at any moment? Well, here's another example of that same thing. The guy flew across five lanes to make that illegal turn and cause an accident. How on earth is this person not able to listen to what's going on behind them? Their trailer is literally dragging on the road and they couldn't care less. And it was probably on purpose, if it looks like that. 